Okay, we are going to find an equation for this hyperbola over here. And as you can see, this hyperbola goes up and down, right? So this is the formula that we will use. Whenever the hyperbola goes up and down, we will have the y part goes first. y minus k and then square over b square minus x minus h square over a square, and this is equal to 1. And the center right here is going to be h comma k. Once again, whenever we have up and down hyperbolas, the y part goes first because this is a subtraction, so the order does matter. Well, as we can see, for this hyperbola right here, the center is going to be at 0, 0, so that means k and h will be 0 and 0. So we will have y squared over some number b squared minus x squared because h is 0. So we have x squared over a squared. And this is equal to 1. We just have now figure out what's b and what's a. Let's figure out the b value first. Because as you can see, b is underneath the y, so that's the up and down movement. From the center though, as you can see, you go up 1, 2, twice, right? So that means the b value will be 2. And we will just have y squared over 2 squared on the bottom like this. Right, and then we'll subtract x squared over a squared. And as you can see, the a is underneath the x. So that's the left or right uh, movement. And this is not so easy to see from here because if you go to a left or right, you don't actually have a graph, right? And this is how you usually do the hyperbola graph. Well, you first just kind of draw the diagonals Okay, so I'm trying my best to draw the diagonal for you guys. And there's another one right here. And I'm just going to draw this imaginary rectangle right here. Because this rectangle is pretty much how we are going to graph the ellipse from scratch. As you can see, this diagonal here and that diagonal right here are meant to be the diagonal of this imaginary rectangle. And then for the A value, we have to count from the center onto this imaginary rectangle. So we go to the right, one, two, three, three times. So the a value will be three. Therefore, we'll have three to the second power, and then this is equal to one. Well, at the end, just don't forget you have the square on the bottom, so we'll have to multiply this out. So we will have y square over four, because two squared is four, and then minus x square over 3 squared, which is 9, and then this is equal to 1. So this right here is the equation for this graph right here. And as you can see, the answer is going to be choice B right here. And once again, you see that we have the y goes first. The y part subtract the x part. This is how we will have the up and down hyperbola. If this was going to the left or right, then you have the x part goes first. Anyways, that's it.